Salut à tous, c'est Charles Chachinda et bienvenue à notre cinquième leçon. Hi there, it's Charles Chachinda and welcome to our fifth lesson. Alors aujourd'hui, on va regarder ou bien on apprendra le verbe être. Et par la suite, on va apprendre l'adjectif dans la langue française. So today, we are going to learn the verb to be. And then thereafter, we are going to look at adjectives in the French language. So one thing you need to know is that in the French language, there are two typical verbs that are called auxiliary verbs. So these verbs are used to conjugate other verbs and you're going to learn about that as we go forward. So it is the verb to be and the verb to have. So today we're going to look at the verb to be and how to conjugate it in its present tense and also in its future simple tense. Alors, une chose que vous devrez savoir, c'est que dans la langue française, il y a ce qu'on appelle les verbes auxiliaires. Et c'est le verbe être et le verbe avoir. Ce sont les verbes qu'on utilise pour conjuguer d'autres verbes. Donc, on dirait que c'est les verbes importants et vous devez les apprendre par cœur. You need to learn these verbs by heart. So, we're going to see how to conjugate the verb to be in its uh, present simple tense. Alors, on va apprendre comment conjuguer le verbe être dans l'indicatif présent. Voilà. Être. To be, the verb to be. So, l'indicatif présent. So, if you like to say, I am, you say, je suis. And then to say, you are, you say, tu es. In our previous lessons, we taught about how you use the subject pronoun tu when you are speaking to a very familiar person. But then remember, if you are speaking to a person you're meeting for the first time or an elderly person, you use the subject pronoun vous. Tu es, tu es, to be. Il, il est, il est. Or you can say, elle est, elle est, to mean he or she is. Vous êtes, vous êtes, to mean you are. You can either be said in a singular or plural form. So if it's in a singular form, uh, as we taught in our previous lessons, is it means in a singular form, it means you are addressing somebody in a formal way of somebody elderly or a group of people. Vous êtes, vous êtes. And then for... If you like to say we are, you say nous sommes, nous sommes. And then if you like to say they are, but then referring to only males, you say ils sont, ils sont. And then if it's females, a group of females, you like to say they are, you say elles sont, elles sont. Et maintenant, on va regarder comment conjuguer le verbe être dans l'indicatif futur simple. And now we're going to see how you can conjugate the verb to be in its future tense. So for instance, you like to say I will. You say je serai. Je serai. Tu seras. Tu seras would mean you will, but in an informal way. Elle, elle, sera. It means she will and il sera means he will. Nous serons. Nous serons. We will. Vous serez. Vous serez. You will. Ils seront. Elles seront. To mean they will. If the males, ils seront. And if the females, elles seront. So and then now we're going to look at a few examples on how to use the, the verb to be when it's conjugated in its present form. Number one, we have 
Je suis médecin. Je suis médecin. To mean, I am a doctor. Médecin. Je suis médecin. Vous êtes professeur. Vous êtes professeur. You are a teacher. You are a teacher. Nous sommes ingénieurs. Nous sommes ingénieurs. We are engineers. Elle est avocate. Elle est avocate. She is a lawyer. Elle est avocate. And then now we are going to look at the adjective or adjectives. Now to explain what adjectives are, adjectives are simply called descriptive words or descriptive nouns. So an adjective would be used to describe a noun. And then we are going to see how they are used. Alors maintenant, on va regarder l'adjectif. L'adjectif. L'adjectif dans la langue française. So, if for instance, you love to say, he is happy. So, happy becomes the adjective because it describes what that person is feeling. It means they are happy. So, that's what an adjective is. So, here we have a few examples that we'll look at. For instance, if you like to say, he is intelligent. But then remember, in the French language, there is gender. So, if you're going to use an adjective, you also have to be conscious. You have to pay attention to the gender. The way you would, um, an adjective, the one adjective would be used when speaking to a male would not necessarily be the same when uh, it's in the case of a female. So, you are going to see the changes that will be given from here. So, if you like to say, he is intelligent, you say, il est intelligent. Il est intelligent. Il est intelligent. So the M there denotes uh, masculine, means male, to mean male, in terms of gender. Now, look at what's going to happen when you're referring to a female. You want to say she is intelligent. You say, elle est intelligente. So you add the E at the end of the word intelligent or at the end of the adjective, which is intelligent. Elle est intelligente. Elle est intelligente. And then, if you like to say, um, je suis grand, to mean I am tall. If you like to say, I am tall. So if a male is saying he is tall, he wants to say he is tall, he would say, je suis grand. Je suis grand. See that? Je suis grand. To mean masculine. And then for a female, if she wants to say she is tall, she, or she needs to add an E at the end of the adjective, tall. So it becomes, je suis grande. Je suis grande. Je suis grande. Je suis grande. So that's pretty much it with um, the verb to be and the adjectives. So... That marks the end of our lesson today. Remember, we looked at the verb to be and also a few adjectives and then with a few examples that come with them. So make sure you revise, make sure you take good note of uh, the rules that are played in the French language and they'll really help you. So thank you so much for today and I'll see you in the next lesson. Merci beaucoup. Au revoir.